Would you look at that? I didn't even unhitch from last week, and here we go again. You rolled in something dead. You are not getting in my truck. So sorry. Before we go. No. Right now. Anyways, before we get into the obvious life updates that we need to talk about, um, I'm going to pull my truck up to the barn. It is, what, like 10, 15 now? Pull my truck up to the barn and get it ready for our trip today, and then I'm going to go get Diesel because Diesel gets really excited about trailer rides to the point where, like, he's just inconsolable when he knows he's about to get on the trailer, so if I try to move the trailer after I get him ready, just not going to, just not going to happen. First things first, this wretched creature is getting a bath, or trying to. This is gonna go. She loves. Okay, so far, so good. So far, so good. Um, luckily, she dries pretty quickly. But, like, homegirl. She nasty! That was completely pointless, and now you look even more feral. Anyway. We're gonna see how bad this is because I accidentally left the windows open while it was raining. <laughs> okay, not that bad. Not that bad. Much better. Want to go stuff? Ooh, yeah. Yummy. Yum. You like it? Is it yummy? Want some more? <laughs> Nosy. All right, so we did wraps. <laughs> Who knows? On the back this time, since it's not as hot for protection and support. And then on the front, we just did uh, wrapped his feet with elastic on and vet wrap. And then we did uh, in quarter wear wraps and a hoof socks, whatever you want to call them. We're just gonna wet them real quick for the icing effect. Oh, oh, oh uh uh. It's not Christmas. Whoa. This one away. Oh, dude. home oh my goodness oh my goodness i can't wait to update y'all but first i gotta let my other puppies out they don't get to come on field trips because they don't like car rides um also life update we live in a camper now um so if you guys stick around i'll, I'll probably give you some details on that but here we go here we go Yay! Hello, Barbie. 
eldest butter bean. Come on. Uh, and then we're gonna walk over here and grab a package that I see on the porch. This package is not for me. I was really hoping it was because I'm still missing Diesel's Sucral so so fate that is for his tummy and I ordered it last Wednesday and paid extra for one day shipping and it just shipped yesterday. So excited to go see your little baby cousin brother. Yeah. Uh, this seems like a really good time to vlog. <laughs> Let's fill in the people, shall we? I said earlier how we live in a camper and how I'd explain later. So uh, it's a good explanation. Here we are explaining. Um so we used to live in this 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 mobile home. Um my parents bought it as an extension of their property, which has the barn on it. Open um, up the flood gates. Open up the f Go under there and see that black one? Uh, I'm in the middle of vlogging. Why does this feel like a part of an RV? <laughs> I'm just a boy. Anyway, so... This property is at the end of my parents' property, which has the barn on it. Um, so they bought it a couple years ago and um, had plans to eventually tear down the mobile home and put up something nicer and um, rent it out. Well, the mobile home ended up just getting rented out for a couple years and then I started renting it um, when I was ready to move out but still needed to manage the barn so I couldn't be too far away and it just ended up working out perfectly that it was available to rent. So I started renting it and then we both moved in here. We've been here, what, a little over a year now? Anyways, mobile home's finally getting torn down. Um, and so we moved into this camper, <laughs> which is actually very nice. I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, that was disgusting. Um, and as far as future plans go, uh, we don't know what the heck's going on, but it's okay. Um, we, he's having a really good time over there. Anyways, um, we may move back into whatever gets replaced here. Um, now that we have a new little situation on our hands. Yeah, if you didn't see that on my Instagram and YouTube. Um, oh my God, we're having a baby. I wish I could explain the smell All right now. This is horrible. This is awful. Y'all wanted real estate vlogging. Well, here we are. This is awful. I also need to update on what happened at Diesel's appointment. Can't flush the tank here because of the mm. Wait. There should still be water in the tank, no? I'm getting ate up by skeeters out here. Honey butts. Look at my belly. My belly's so big. Wake up. Anyways, I'll give you a little, little sneaky peeky into here. Nemo, can we come in your crib? Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so it's a little bit of a mess right now and the AC is like blasting, but it's fine. But like, look how cute! I'm gonna shut this door so the bugs don't come Um, hey guys. So our biggest thing was finding floor space because we have three dogs. Um, these beds go up in the bunk beds at, um, during the day, like when we are in here. Um, I just pulled them down a minute ago, but over there is bunk beds that we use as storage because we don't need bunk beds. A little dining room, table, a uh, little couch that also pulls out, a little kitchen area, don't look at my dirty dishes that I haven't cleaned today. 
And then in there is our bedroom, which is also a mess, which I'm not gonna show you guys right now. <laughs> there it is from the other side. That little entertainment center. The Nemo's. But yeah, isn't it cute? I think this is the most redneck thing we've done this week. My parents had to move their RV so we could use their dump spot. So Robbie's backing our camper into their RV spot to dump our pooper. What do you think, Mom? <laughs> Perks of living next to your parents. They got dump poop sites. If this isn't family bonding, I don't know what is. Mom has her- Give them a try. <laughs> toilet fresheners. <laughs> Look how cute. They win. Teamwork makes the dream work. This is going in my vlog. <laughs> oh! As I am sitting down to edit and put this video together, I realized that my phone died in the middle of trying to explain the diesel situation and an update and everything else. So, I'm refilming this. Um, I apologize for my editing look, but we're just going to ignore it for now. So, what happened with diesel at the vet? So, this was obviously our second go around we visited him last week and then this week was our like put the plan in action vet visit right we went up there plan in mind everything went according to plan and actually like was very best case scenario to be honest so like i said in our previous video we weren't necessarily at square one with his feet but we were at like square 1.5 we were we were pretty close so we did catch it like right in time i just don't want everybody and their grandma's expert not vet advice um that's just how it is so anyway don't judge me anyways according to the x-rays his left foot is still the problem foot and we want to basically re-angle that foot as well as get him sound enough in the front to figure out what's going on in the hind end because he still has some weird swelling in the hind end and it, it just every once in a while can just be like a little bit off and the hind end is a really good contrib contributor to what's going on in the front end so like if something's off in the hind the balance is off and of course what is going on in the front end it's all connected is what I'm trying to say so the other interesting thing is a couple of months ago diesel came up like a little bit off not not drastically, but just like a little bit off in that front left. And he had shoes on and it was really, really out of character for him because he normally is like super sound, especially like when he has shoes on. Um, and he only has shoes in the front. So he came up a little bit off and um, it wasn't getting any worse. It wasn't getting any better. It was just kind of like, mm, not, not quite right. So I had my farrier come out, look at it. I think that time we met him at the show. Um, and we chalked it up to, we both thought the same thing. We both thought, okay, like stone bruise. Um, we were thinking, okay, maybe he stepped on the wrong spot in that gravel and, you know, got a stone bruise. So we did whatever we had to do to get him comfortable and sound again in that moment. However, when we looked at things while we were at the vet, they dug around and, you know, worked on his feet and everything else and found that there was actually, well, I think what they found was in correlation to that time he was randomly lame, um, but they found a blown abscess hole in his left front. So they sent me home with some stuff to put in it. We didn't put any pads on or anything else like that. His soul is looking a lot better um, to my naked eye. Obviously I'm not a vet or a farrier, but just knowing the horse like I have for the past four or five years, his soul is looking a lot better, um, more sturdy. It's not protruding out the bottom of his foot anymore, which is huge. Um, and he's moving a lot better. The angle of his feet's getting a lot better. Um, we just need to really strengthen up that foot and get the angle really, really moving on the right track. Um, but <sighs> that being said, he is on Equiox for a couple more days and um, we're going to see what that does for him. I'm going to continue icing his legs because he did go through a lot of dramatic changes and all the trailer rides and all that stuff. Um, and he is getting a lot of, you know, medicine in his feet and stuff like that. So he's going to be on Equinox a couple more days. He's on the Sucralfate for um, a while. It, it, it came in and it's a, it's a big tub. It's like, it's bigger than my head. Um, I got a big head. But 
it came in and he's going to be on that. And then once he is off of the sucralfate, we're going to put him on U7 as a preventative. Um, I saw something on Facebook today that, you know, you guys all know the saying, if you have no hoof, you have no horse. But someone on Facebook said, if you have no gut, you have no horse. And I really, really like that. Um, I have been a total nerd about gut health within the past like year or so, especially because diesel is so, so, so sensitive in the gut. Um, so we're dealing with hind gut ulcers with him right now because of everything that he's gone on, going on in his life <laughs> um, has flared those up, which is totally understandable. So we're managing that. And we got a good diet in place. We got a ton of, um, he's on free choice alfalfa now. And um, yeah, I think those were the major changes. So we're going to give him like a week or so to just adjust to his feedies on how on his own and um from there we're gonna start light hacking and go from there um i will not be jumping for the next however many months until little one here pops out um just for safety precautions diesel is a very very safe horse but things can always go wrong on the back of a horse so we're gonna um just do flat work until we're both a hundred percent and go from there I'm really excited about these positive changes and um the good news that we got the good news kind of outweighed the bad news on this one so i'm really looking forward to getting him back in shape and riding my pony for as long as i can until i'm huge <laughs> anyway um yeah i'll keep you guys updated and i'm gonna go drink some chocolate milk and make dinner <laughs>